The outbound process starts with the creation of sales order by the customer. On creation of the sales order, an outbound delivery task is created in the EWM to fulfill the order. Here, the source is the bin in the high base storage and the destination is the outbound dock. This EWM task is now split into multiple tasks in the MFS by determining the route the product must travel. First, the task to move the item from bin to the outfeed point is sent, followed by another task to move the item from outfeed point to the outbound dock location. This MFS tasks are sent to PLC, one after another, with the source and destination points for each task via the communication channel. Based on the instruction from EWM MFS, PLC executes the tasks and sends an acknowledgement. The second task is sent to the PLC after the receipt of acknowledgement of first task completion. Once the finished goods reach the outbound dock, the goods issue is completed, which in turn fulfills the outbound order requirement. Stock of the finished goods goes down based on the goods issue. Now the outbound process is complete. The inbound process starts with the creation of inbound order against a purchase order. Based on the inbound order, goods receipt happens once the material is at the inbound area. Once the product is received, GR is created automatically in the ECC system. Based on the goods receipt, a storage bin is determined by the SAP EWM system. SAP EWM creates a task to move the item from the receiving location to the identified storage bin. This EWM task is further split into multiple MFS tasks based on the travel route. First, the task to move the item from the inbound location to the in-feed point of the high base storage is sent, followed by another task to move the item from in-feed point to the storage bin. Once all the MFS tasks are completed one after another, EWM task is completed, and hence, receipt and put away is completed in the system the inbound process is now complete. The manufacturing process starts with the creation of production order based on MRP run and availability of raw material. Once the production order is created, EWM task is created to move the raw material from the storage bin to the production staging area. This EWM task is further split into multiple MFS tasks based on the travel route. First, the task to move the item from the bin to the outfeed point of the high bay storage is sent, followed by another task to move the item from outfeed point to the production staging area. Once the product reaches the identified machine, the product is staged in the system. On completion of the production, raw material is consumed to create finished goods. Upon completion of production, an automatic EWM task is created in the system to move the item from the production area to the storage area. This EWM task is further split into multiple MFS tasks based on the travel route First, the task to move the item from the production area to the quality check area is sent, followed by another task to move the item from quality check area to the infeed point of the high bay storage.
At last, another telegram is sent to move the item from the infeed point to the destination bin. Once all the MFS tasks are completed, one after another, EWM task is completed, and hence, manufacturing and put away of finished goods is completed in the system. Finished goods stock is increased in the system. The manufacturing process is now complete.